Okay, so we're going to look at making a custom uh, gym cutter and um, and a way to use that in, in future cases, uh, just in case you need something outside of what our builders can provide you with. Uh, well, hopefully this will make it a little easier. So I want to start, I have this ring, uh, I'm really just focused on, on uh, kind of one quad of this ring here, you can see it's symmetrical. So I'm just going to turn everything off except for these stones here. Uh, if you right click on the the hide button it'll hide everything that is not selected so there that is um okay so we have our we have our stones and uh obviously i'm going to use a round cutter for these uh, being that they're round stones so the first step is i I'm gonna need i need to pull in an existing cutter to work from so uh if you look here i'm in my program files uh matrix 7 library gem tools and cutters folder these are the cutters that are shown when you go to the gym cutter library. That's where these live. So, uh, what I want to do is um, I'm going to use this cutter here, which is the heart cutter. So, I'll just go to heart and I'm interested in the round. So, what I'm going to do is pull this in. So, there that is import file. Okay, so here's my cutter. Now, obviously, this is, this is big. Um, and you know everything is made kind of in this 10 by 10 area and then oriented to the the C plane here so uh, and and the reason for that is that you know now we know how much we know the starting size so we can scale that to whatever size our gym is um, now the orient to gym command you can make it you can make the object to the size of the gym or you can make it to this 10 by 10 size and have it scale it for you um, I'm going to stick with this because it lets us use it. Uh, it lets us use it in future cases. So, so we're going to make our cutter 10 by 10 as well. I guess is the moral of the story. All right. So we'll go here in the through finger. Um, oh, you can see I have two cutters here. Let's turn, delete that. Okay. So here this is. What uh, what I want to do? We'll look at kind of the makeup of this cutter first before I start tearing it apart. You can see it doesn't actually come to a point. It has a has a flat surface on the bottom. Um, we're going to keep that. What we want to do is extract this surface right here, so the cone shape, and we'll delete that. Okay, so we have our little round cap here, and then we have uh, we have the top part of our cutter and the through finger. Um, you can do this in through finger or the side view, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to turn my quad snap on. And I'm going to draw an arc from this point to this point. And depending on how you want the the bulge shaped, I mean, you can bring it all the way out to where it uh, has almost a, a perfectly round shape. You can have it with just a little bulge. We're gonna we're gonna bring it on out here, uh, something like that. So with that, put this on a different layer. Um, all right. So we're gonna now do a two rail sweep with this edge and this edge and then this is our profile and there that is so so if we shade this we should have all of our surfaces for our cutter and we can join those up now one thing I want to do is delete my curve so that it it's not in every cutter that I have um, from here on out. We want to save just this cutter. Uh, so we can export this and, and save it as a file. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll do export. Um, I just typed it. You can see here we are in the cutters folder, which is the same cutters folder as this. So we're in our Matrix 7.0 library, gem tools, cutters. Um, and this is in the cutters folder, so we'll just save this out as, uh, let's see here, we'll save it out as round burr. Okay, so you could make a folder, and um, and if we take a look at the, if we take a look at the cutters, you can see that inside these folders we have all the different shapes. Um, you could definitely do that and create one of these for every shape stone you use. 
Um, for now, we're just going to save it in here. It, it doesn't really matter where you save this 3DM. We just need it to be saved somewhere on our hard drive so we can import it later on. So, uh, so we'll do round burr, and um, then I'll save that out. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. So we'll pretend that we're in kind of a new, uh, new scenario here. Uh, all right, so to actually use that file, if we go to gems and we see the orient to gem command, we can get that going. Um, we can put our gems in the box, and then we can say show guide. Now you can see that this gem is the same size as these gems. So I would need a cutter that is sized to this gem. However, if we turn the scale to gem option on, which is what we want, because we may be using different size gems, um, it'll give us our 10 by 10 gem, which is why we made our cutter 10 by 10. So it'll line up to this gem. Okay, so now if we go here and uh, we go back to our cutters folder, here's our round burr. Now you can put this in some other folder. It does not have to be in here. Um, this is just where I've been working from. So, all right. So we'll just drag and drop this, and we'll import it. And there's our cutter. So you can see it lines up with our reference gem. So we'll put this in as the object. And when I hit set to gems, we get our round burr. So, and uh, with the with the scale to gem option, it will scale to different size gems. Uh, but that is an easy way to use your uh, custom cutters.